Oh, okay, this reminds me of Resident Evil. Why does this remind me of Resident Evil? There's a little bit of inspiration, but not too much. Okay. Yo, you look a little funny, but I have to admit the party's off the bomb, yo. These hip kids. <laughs> You're so cute. What are you, a marshmallow? Great costume. What? Why does everyone think I'm a marshmallow? That is offensive. You're calling me fat. I don't quite know why you invited me, but how can I reject an invitation to party in the great Judith Manor? This is crazy. Jeez, the fruit punch is something else. I feel so jittery. So nice to know that somebody drugged it. Somebody spiked the punch. This is a great party, man, but I do have a question. Who are you and why did you invite us? I have to have another option, right? Mm, right? No. Murder! Oh my god, you killed him! Are you gonna kill us? Somebody call the police! Run! Run! There's something on his body. Obtain the circle key. By the way, interact with that radio. Killing music. <laughs> Ryan? Yeah? What the heck? And why doesn't it carry over? I like that song. Yeah. Okay, let's head down here. I see you! Or is that a... Oh, that's a table <laughs> leg. They're kind I'm of really like shaped. A... So I understand the misunderstanding. I feel tricked. Oh. Please don't hurt me. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please. I have no choice. Literally. There's something on his body and there was a triangle key. So I'm just a shape collector is what I'm understanding. Basically. <laughs> the shape reaper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, seems a bit weird. <laughs> the hexagon key. I didn't need to kill anyone for that one. Yay! Pathism. 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 I feel like I've made a mistake. Ryan, how do you say that word? You're asking me how to say a word? Yeah. Okay, shape of a star. <laughs> but, um, yes, because I don't know how to say the word pat 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 Pathicism, I think. Pa I don't know why I feel like that's wrong. I'm sure it is right, but... I don't know I... if it's right, so I <laughs> I'm not saying that with confidence. Oh, yeah, a toilet! Now I'll finally be at home, being the little turd I am. Oh, <laughs> that's one comparison. <laughs> Someone sees you just standing in the toilet. Oh, hey there, little marshmallow. If somebody walks in the bathroom and starts talking to me, I'm probably going to stab them. <laughs> oh my. Time to go upstairs. The door is locked in the shape of a square. I guess I do not have the square key yet. Negatory. The shape of a diamond. I also do not have that one. I just realized the floor looks like marshmallows in a way. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, that's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you've never actually heard that comparison because it doesn't, but to me it does. That's okay. I can see what you're saying, but it is true that's the first I've heard that comparison. I also can tell you it wasn't intentional. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just looked at it and it kind of looked like marshmallows to me, so I had to make note of that. Hi, little children. Time to die. No How power in this room. It's very yeah, dark. but that, that's not plugged in. <laughs> okay. Come on, there has to be a guy to kill. Don't kill me, I have a family! Yeah, I'm obviously a murderer. You think I care? 
Oh, also, you guys should, probably should have stayed together. It's not hard to overpower someone if you, there's ten of you. There's something on his body. The square key. I know where that goes. Also, none of them better be upstairs, or else I call BS. Oh. Because how did they get up there without the key? They had the keys. <laughs> yes, but why would someone <laughs> lock them upstairs and not let themselves find the door? The shape of a heart. I am the shape, uh, what was the thing you called me earlier? Shape, shape uh, Reaper. <laughs> shape Reaper. It's like the Grim Reaper, but hunts shapes. Yep. That just so happened to be in the And just, pool. yep, so, just so happens to steal the Grim Reaper's job from time to time. Okay, well, let's head in this door. Can't see any keyhole. Awesome. And I can't examine any of these because you're lame and won't add flavor text. Yeah, yeah. I purposely didn't put flavor text in this area so people wouldn't be wandering trying to examine everything. That was my main purpose at this point. I'm the kind of person who wanders and examines everything, even if I know there's <laughs> probably not going to be anything. I learned so quite I'm a few things. More time. I'll say this. I learned quite a few things as I made this game. That's all I'm going to say. And from this section in particular. The star key. In the toilet? No? Okay, bye. Okay, nothing to do up there. Anything? Oh, yeah, there was more. Why is there no power? I want to play all the fantastical music. Also, why is there no power? That's not Maybe been explained reasons. yet. Hey, really? <laughs> what? What? How did he? What? How did you do that? You are not Mario. You are not right. Luigi. Who are you? Parkour expert. Maybe in here? Here's a tip for him. You may have noticed we entered that room. When that guy's in the room, you hear a Ugh, when you first enter the room. Okay. I thought I'd do with the background noise and how they're changing. So is he just in specific rooms and I just have to find him in the rooms until I eventually kill him? Probably. Okay, I don't remember what items I have, so I'll try this one. Diamond. Blue sea in the sky with, with diamonds. diamonds. So, how does the pancakes? You don't have to be so picky. I worked hard on them. That is so cute. You can't do this to me right now, Ryan. Jeez, you can't even appreciate good pancakes. You'd have to be such a downer. I just... I just don't know what I was thinking. I thought maybe if I made pancakes like how Mom used to make them. She taught me, you know, the secret to making good pancakes. I can tell you, but it's a secret, okay? You can't tell anyone else, okay? The secret to good pancakes is gentleness and care. You need to prepare the wet and dry mix separately. They're opposites of each other, and while opposites attract, they need some time to ease into each other. Mix them forcibly right away, and they will that will cause the flour to create gluten prematurely and do a bunch of other pancakey things. You start to mix them slowly and carefully. Give the batter some rest from mixing so it has time to settle the liquids in the batter and disperse itself evenly across the mix. Oh my god, Ryan, how do you know all this about pancakes? Did you know I graduated top of my cooking class? I don't know whether you're serious or not at this point. I'm completely serious. I had no idea about that. Now you know. Tenderness is key to making good pancakes. I make a pretty good pancake. 
but I do not know the exact method to making a fantastic pancake. I just do it. While tenderness is key to many things, actually. Yeah, I know it's not pancakes that's on your mind. Listen, I know things haven't been easy lately. But we'll get through this together. We have to. Everything depends on us. Mom's depending on us. I know I leave a lot on you, but I'm worried. Not just about everything, but about you, too. Apparently you're not a part of everything. You mean nothing to her. You especially. You have to take thing on all this responsibility. It can't be easy. I know how, but I want to help. Oh, I don't know how, but I want to help you. You are in this alone. Remember that you have me. I, I don't mind if you use me some. Just, I want to be of some use. If it pops up with the murder option, I'm going to be upset with you. I'm sorry. I know this is just as hard for you as it is for me, if not harder. But please, don't do anything reckless. If you disappear too, I don't know what I'll do. We'll make things better. I'm sure of it. Seriously, you took a sad song and you made it better. I'll make sure of it. Just please don't disappear. Please, be careful. If you ever need a vent or shoulder cry on... Well, I'm right here. I'll do anything I can to help. Until then, please take this. Blah, blah. I actually got a key? Yeah. Huh, it's locked. For what I'm assuming is supposed to be a flashback, that was incredibly helpful. Okay, you need to stop doing that. I don't know who you are, but you look like Princess Peach to me, so you Princess Peach person needs to come out of the hiding and talk to me. I'm lonely. Apparently and The only so. person I've spoken to recently is the freaking narrator and, and that weird note who called me a little marshmallow over and over again, and he was creepy. You don't just call someone you've never spoken to a little marshmallow. It's also incredibly <laughs> offensive. Imagine you're just going down an alleyway. It's like, oh, excuse me, little marshmallow. How is <laughs> Like, bumps into you and says that. I would be so upset. Mainly because I'm pretty sure he just called me fat. And short. I'm not short and stout. I do not have a handle. I do not have a spell. I don't hear... Oh. I was, I was just midway through saying, I don't hear this guy. Come on. Rip, rip. Ah! I want you, baby! Why are you doing this? Why? Sorry, I... Literally don't it's a murder! Choice. There's something on his body. The trapezoid key. Have I run into a trapezoid door? No, but you have it now. I'll give you a hint, there's nothing else in this room. It's just a big space from the run in. Run free Fine. and wild. One of those lame people who don't add flavor text to everything. Not for this section. Too much murder to do. Yes, but I like I like spending time staring at the aesthetics just like you, Ryan. I do too. It was a tough decision call to make, but There you are. Escaped your grasp once, didn't do it a second time. I don't know how he got through this door without me actually seeing him walk through the door. But he did it. He managed to do it. Um, before I end up dying somehow. Always good to keep saves. That way I cannot lose any progress, because, you know, I doubt you're the type of person who deletes save files. <laughs> what are you gonna do, huh? I'm tough, you know. I'll... Die like everyone else. There's something on his body. A diamond key. Yeah, yeah. Lucy in the sky, the sky with diamonds. diamonds. Sorry, uh... 
I think it was uh, Koos messaged me the other day, and he was talking to me. I had no idea what he was talking about. He finally asked if uh, if I had, if I knew Lucy, and I had no idea what he was talking about. He's like, you know, the one with diamonds, and I'm like, are you? talking about the song and then he started talking about this fantastic he date on fantastic date he went on with her and things like that and i'm like are are you high like what's going on oh dear i could not follow the conversation no matter what i was doing i was so confused there's something about lucy with diamonds and how he uh it was a great date and things like that and i was so confused I kept asking what he was talking about, but he wouldn't actually, like, go into detail. Huh. It was so confusing. And Kusi, like, Kus hasn't spoken to me forever. <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> oh, there's a sound effect. I already called the cops. You're already as good as dead. So are you. There's something on his body. The octagon key. I wonder where that goes. It's a big mystery. So I'm going to say that I've never seen a dead body before those ones in the train station subway. Because these are not dead bodies. These are mush. Okay. So. What did you see? A TV! 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 Oh, tell me! Uh... I mean, these are both true. But right when he asked, what did I see? A man with eyes in strange places. Hmm. Oh, can be strange. Don't you just get the feeling that it meant something? Uh... Maybe? If also, I, I thought I... You're looking tired. I thought that I didn't watch the TV, and that's what he said during the narration. How about we just... You get caught by the cops, no thank you. Just for a bit, you know. I don't want to get caught, though. Why would I do that? I'm sure the narrator will take care of you. This is why you never go to sleep around creepy people who want you to close your eyes. You end up in a strange location, it's dark, things smell funny, and the only light you have is with a broken lighter. Um, is there anything along the walls here? Table. No flavor. Oh, a gurney? What's a gurney? Uh, it's those hospital things they carry people in. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Thank no, you, you for educating me. All the educations. That'd be so confusing if I didn't know that. Another gurney. This can't be my more or give me just a moment. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. And now, uh, maybe up here. Okay, these are all gurneys. These can't be. Can't they be? Why not? Did I take the wrong road somewhere? Like... Anything weird about any of these walls? Walls are pretty normal. Nothing on any of the gurneys. Back we go. going back the way I came. And now I can hear weird breathing. Um, no wonder I couldn't interact with this one last time. I know you're there. Oh, I can go up further. Mm -hmm. A hole. There seems to be a giant hole here. A gentle breeze can be faintly be felt coming from it. I hate to think about it, but this appears to be the only way out. Jump into the hole? Pfft, jeez. <laughs> Who'd ever want to do that? Right, Ryan? <laughs> right. Only a crazy person. 
And Silent Hill protagonist. Seat. Yeah. We all know which one we're thinking of. I really wish I could do something with this. Like, come here, get a different ending, and instead grab that thing and throw it down the hole. That'd be great. That's an interesting thought. <sighs> Alright, jump in the hole! It's completely irrational. Marsh, marshmallow, go down the hole. Huh, the door's locked again. There's no keyhole now. I'm starting to think I'm just a schizophrenic. Was I in this room before? I don't think so. Does it look familiar to you? No. Uh, there's blood here, and I don't remember causing it. Or is this a body? I honestly have no idea. Um... Um, how? What the? F what the? F uh, what? What? Oh, little marshmallow. I knew we had so much in common. I just knew it. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? <laughs> I dreamt about you. I dreamed that you and I, in one of these gurneys, we were strapped together, tied in tight. No one was going to take us apart. I slowly slid my hand under your robes, undressed you. You were so soft. <laughs> what a soft little marshmallow. Oh, the things I want to do to you, little marshmallow. Would you moan? Would you squeal? Would you whimper? Oh, I'd like it if you screamed. I like, I imagine you'd give the most wondrous scream. Would you scream for me? Would you scream real good? <laughs> Simon is yours and you are mine, little marshmallow. Simon sounds like a real stand-up fella. Whatever you say, Mr. Cow. Um, 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 Ryan? Oh yeah. my, this, this is, is quite, quite a pickle, pickle isn't it? How so ever will you get out? Murder! That's how I've gotten out through of every other, like, locked door or room, right? That's usually the solution. Uh, have you I'll checked check that wall over there? there? I don't know which wall you're talking about, Ryan, but I'll keep checking. Thanks <laughs> of for the course tip. you have. Thanks you, thank you, Ryan. I'm, I mean, good help, right? All right. You know, I can probably help you out here if you're just willing to close your eyes. Come on. Let a help you out. I shut my eyes. Is it working? <laughs> Just close them. I did! Ryan, you don't have to be so pushy. <laughs> have you ever closed your eyes and seen colors form on the back of your eyelids? Yes. Where you lay your head to the rest and there's a sound coming from where there should be none. Yes. Why can't one dream? Why is the darkness of the world so much more terrifying than the darkness beyond our eyes? I don't know. Close your eyes. Huh. Something's tore through the bars. Ah, why would I ever... Why would I ever want to talk to Cthulhu? Right? <laughs> Cthulhu's Cthulhu. just sitting there. <laughs> You're fine. It's a little Cthulhu. 
honestly, just by the weird shape I've seen, it kind of reminds me of the, like a green version of the Star Men from Earthbound. Huh. Something's tore through the bars. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Do you know where answer. you're going? Mm, to hell? Probably. I'll just keep going wherever the path takes me, to be honest. Now that's a productive attitude. But are you sure it's for the best? No. You know, there's been something I've been meaning to ask you. The subway system, if we can still call it that, wasn't anywhere close to where you were supposed to be executed. So why'd you come here? What drew you here? You don't need to answer that. After all. I already know the answer. So far, you've been an amazing contestant. But the stakes are rising, and the challenge is only going to get tougher as we move on to round two. You sensed it, haven't you? Things aren't going to get any better. There's no way you're going to escape death, you know, at least in any meaningful way. You're a wanted man. You've done terrible, terrible things that can never be forgiven. You were used, disposed, tarnished. Who really cared for you? Did anyone ever really help? And in the end, here you are. Utterly, truly. Well, Simon tells me he loves me and loves to do terrible things to me, and my big sister loves me a lot and gave me a big hug and told me I could rely on her, so you're full of shit. Besides me, of course. Let me give you a piece of advice. Ghosts are real. They haunt every one of us until the day we die. We just try to forget that they're even there. I need ignorance as all. Now hurry, I hear that some people are just dying to meet you. <laughs> it starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And suddenly all at once my legs won't let me stand. I scratch till my fingers go numb, but my skin never bleeds. A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep. There's something that lives inside me. I promise I never. Yeah. 